Inhaling deeply. A few moments later. Okay. Hi everyone, this is VoiceOver Simplified and I'm Caitlin Dawn. Here we talk about everything voiceover and today we're going to talk about three breathing exercises to help you with your lung capacity. Having really good breath control is important to sounding professional. We don't want to be you know, straining for breath at the end of a sentence and having to take a breath in the middle of what we're seeing because it's going to make our read sound choppy. That's not what we want. Increasing your lung capacity is going to help you sound more natural. As you take a breath and you're talking, it's going to help you get to the end of the sentence while still maintaining sounding natural. If you hear Toby, that's my dog walking around. Toby, come. <laughs> Aw, this is Toby. He's my little voiceover studio mascot. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, that smells good. Does that smell good? Okay, you gotta go down. So one of the keys to increasing your lung capacity is learning how to connect to your diaphragm and your breathing. This is called belly breathing or diaphragm breathing. Most of the time, people only breathe into their upper lungs and they don't utilize their diaphragm. So if you're breathing just with your upper lungs, you'll notice... Your, shoulder, your shoulders are going to raise and your chest is going to expand, but your belly won't expand. So diaphragm breathing is also known as belly breathing because you'll notice your stomach expand as you take a breath. It works best when you breathe through your nose and you focus on filling up your stomach with air. When you breathe into your diaphragm, your abdominal cavity gets pulled downward and your abs and your diaphragm work together to fully fill up your lungs and maximizing your lung capacity. So the following breathing exercises are some ways that you can connect to your diaphragm and increase your lung capacity. Exercise number one is holding E. So for this one, actually lay on the ground because if you've never done diaphragm breathing before, this will be a really good visual cue. You'll see if your stomach is rising or not. And you can even get one of these like bean bags that you heat up and you can put it on your stomach as another visual cue and as a way to really connect to your stomach. And your goal is to have this move up on your stomach as you're breathing. It's a good visual cue. As you breathe out, Engage your abdominal muscles as this will assist your diaphragm while you're exhaling. So with this exercise, over time, you'll be able to build up stamina and go for longer. So if you're a girl, you're aiming for 15 to 25 seconds. And if you're a guy, you're aiming for about 25 to 35 seconds. And grab a stopwatch so you can time yourself. So I'm going to do this one with you, even though we're not on the ground, or I'm not on the ground. I'm going to see how long I can go for, so... Inhaling deeply. Okay, so I made it 25 seconds. <laughs> You're not trying to sound pretty. This is just how long can you hold it? Exercise number two is counting breaths. So standing with good posture, your feet shoulder width apart, bring your shoulders back and make sure your ears are in line with your shoulders. We're going to inhale deeply into our stomach for a count of four. We're going to hold it for two and we're going to exhale for eight. So while you exhale, you want to purse your lips like you're, like you're going to blow out a candle, like, and a nice steady stream of air. So I'm going to do this with you. So get your stopwatch out, and we'll do inhale for a count of four. And as you exhale, make sure that you're engaging your core again and um, assisting your diaphragm as you exhale. And you can experiment um, with different breathing in times and exhaling times. The goal over time is to increase the amount of time that you're exhaling and decrease the amount of time that you're inhaling. So 
a 10% inhale rate versus um, a 90% exhale rate is the goal that you're trying to attain. And it's hard, but you can definitely get there. And before I jump into the third exercise, if you're enjoying this video and you want to support me, like this video, share it out where you can, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover. You can find me on social media at CaitlinDonBO, and I'll look forward to connecting with you guys. Exercise number three is exhaling on shh. For this breathing exercise, it helps if you look into a mirror and you're going to deep breathe, you know, your inhale, you're inhaling into your stomach, engaging your diaphragm, and as you exhale, you want to actually put your, your hands on your waist, and while you exhale, you want to really see if your abs are, are engaging, if your muscles are tightened there. That'll give you an indication if you're connecting to your, to your abs and your diaphragm. So this one is similar to the one we just did, where you're holding E, but this time we're holding SH, and you also want to hold this as long as you can. So you're going to take your deep breath into your belly, and as you exhale, you're going to say, shh. Imagine there is a candle in front of you, and you don't want to blow out that candle. So you want to conserve your breath as you're exhaling, so it's just a nice steady stream of air, and you're not blowing out this candle. So let's do this together. Remember to focus on engaging those ab muscles. So I'm going to do this one standing up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I have not ironed this shirt, but that's okay. So we do a nice deep breath and you'll see your stomach expand. So I held it for about 15 seconds there. So that one you want to do a couple times. <laughs> and um, as you keep doing it and you keep practicing, you'll be able to hold it for longer. And it'll become more natural um, when you engage your ab muscles and your diaphragm. So I hope you learned something and you're able to use these exercises in your warm-ups and you won't run out of breath in the middle of a sentence. So happy breathing and... I wish you well. We'll see you next time. Bye.